Thank you, Chairman Mast and Chairman McCall for the opportunity to wave on this hearing on this committee today. I want to start by thanking our witnesses for their service, sacrifice, and your testimony today. Command Sergeant Major Smith, I'm especially grateful that you took on this tremendous responsibility of testifying as I have the distinct honor of representing Fort Drum, home of the 10th Mountain Division, the most deployed division in the U.S. Army since 9-11. And I want to make sure in today's hearing that we remember to highlight that although Joe Biden and the Biden administration made reckless decisions that resulted in the avoidable, tragic deaths of our service members. Uh, it is important to recognize so many men and women in uniform who served valiantly and bravely. In the spring of 2021, Command Sergeant Major Smith, you met with the U.S. Embassy Site Survey Team, and they told you they were considering Bagram and H. Kaya as two potential evacuation operation sites. Why did you advise the Site Survey Team against using H. Kaya, and were your concerns taken into consideration? Ma'am, I appreciate you letting me speak. Um, as far as uh, the, the site survey team uh, taking my advice into consideration, I, I don't know the private conversation they had uh, after they left. I, I cannot speak on that. Uh, from, from my standpoint, um, Bagram had a much more tactical advantage to conducting NEO out of. It was much easier to defend. Uh, it, the, uh, the entry control points were very much defended in depth um, it would have been very easy to, to create a filtering process within those entry control points to filter out those that needed to be evacuated and those who didn't. Um, it was just a much more tactically advantageous location. And meanwhile, the Taliban was rapidly advancing on Kabul, and every day it became clear that an evacuation would likely be necessary. And the recently released State Department After Action Review shows that the Biden administration understood that the closure of Bagram meant that the only place this evacuation would be conducted would be H. Kaya. And we know there were 113 soldiers from Charlie Company 431 of the 10th Mountain Division assigned to protect H. Kaya as the Taliban was rapidly approaching. From your extent of experience in Afghanistan, was a company-sized element adequate to perform the mission the 10th Mountain Soldiers were assigned? Ma'am, if I was in command, I would have had at least a battalion there. A battalion. That is a, a big difference from a company. Uh, this disastrous decision leading up to the Afghanistan withdrawal forced Charlie Company 431 into a mission that was nearly impossible to execute. And yet for over a month, the brave soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division defended H. Kaya as Afghanistan was engulfed in chaos. Uh, this hearing is important to bring transparency and shed light and ultimately answers to those families, particularly our gold-starred families, of whom I know some are here today. We can never thank them enough for their sacrifice. Thank you for your service, and I yield back the balance, Chairman Mast.